Welcome to Rare Overload, I'm Anthony, and Steam OS is getting more and more updates. The Steam Deck has now been out for a while, and Steam Ed just came out with a new update today. They also have out some of the um, recovery images for the Steam Deck. And, and the next step, which I'm hoping for, is to get those images out, or an OS image, so that anyone can start installing and using Steam OS as they're on their computer, seeing if it can compete with Windows, seeing if it can be a replacement for especially those that game. And I think that is the next big step for Steam OS, and not just Steam OS, but I think it would be a big step for the Linux community as well. More and more people are looking towards Linux and gaming. I know I've dabbled in it before. Um, there's a couple of limitations there where I, I like to, you know, get updates for kernels and make sure that you kind of have those latest updates there. And if there's a way and SteamOS is able to um, keep those updates coming and have support for a broader need of people that, you know, you have all these corner cases, it could be the OS of choice. I know there's PopOS. Uh, um, there's Arch, there's uh, Manjaro, there's um, some of the older variants as well that you could all take a look at. But if Linux and gaming want, wants to take on Windows, there's going to have to be more of an effort. Windows is giving Linux every opportunity to enter the market and be strong at it. You know, they're going, Windows is going through and saying, hey, guess what? We want you to always have a Microsoft account. We don't want local accounts. There's a lot of this going forward that I think Microsoft is very misguided. I think Microsoft should take a step back. And there is opportunity here where we're seeing more and more people look at Linux. And as Steam has put a lot of effort into uh, Linux on gaming, there could be a lot bigger move here in the future. I know it's one thing I've considered here more and more recently there is, I, I kind of wish I had another computer that I could switch back and forth from because as much as I would like to dual boot, more important to me is making sure that, um, or in my mindset, I kind of want to, hey, this machine is just Linux, hey, put it up as my daily driver and then I have to do the, not have Windows so close, right? Not have the security net right there. So you have to figure out how to work out on something, how to make those things that might not work in Linux or SteamOS work and I think that's part of the solving part because there's issues with Windows right there's there's gonna be issues with Linux it's just there's a lot more people on Windows with solutions and hopefully we can as a community get more of these solutions on Linux and they can't be oh yeah run the script you know all these lines and everything else we have to treat those people coming in with hey this is how to simply do it this is you know encouragement right we don't want people to be turned off to this um, another avenue here that we have coming up here with steam os 3 and everything else with all this gaming pop os is putting more effort into it there's an opportunity here that we have to actually grow linux especially on gaming and it might even go to a point if if it starts catching on here in the next couple of years because i think it's going to be two to three years if it all goes right and that's going to be also with some of, you know, Windows mishaps, right? The more Windows pushes certain things, the more people are going to be turned off of Windows to go there. Hopefully developers start putting more effort into this, and it can be even a better experience for gamers, right? There's more open source stuff, so more graphics cards are supported longer, and especially on the AMD side, right? There's a lot of AMD work in there, so in the open source side, and there's that it seems like there's a commitment here for Linux, especially from Steam, to make sure and try to get more and more games working. Time will tell to see how this all goes. I'd like to even see more, you know, game launchers, not just using like Lutris, but then also, or Steam, but, you know, GOG putting their um, launcher on there, you know, getting all of these items working. We could really see an effort here that Linux gaming can take off and can be supported and then that there's a community there to support it rather than it being in kind of this constant startup phase we'll see as more and more games get supported i'm 
you know, a lot of the games I'm playing right now, I've played on Linux, and they work quite well. I was on a worse card, and worse GPU than my current desktop, even though it was only 1080p, it still worked perfectly fine, and I was happy on using it. So if there is more of commitment from companies to even get a semi-working software on there or even open source it so that the community can help with that open source part of it and help evolve the software I think there'll be more commitment there and more people wanting to jump on board right we have a lot of these a lot of people have RGB keyboards and RGB in their desktop and they want to control that and if it can be controlled either through the BIOS or even more through a Linux piece of software heck it probably will run better than the Linux stuff right that can crash your computer but there's this aspect of and what I'm kind of excited about in this whole thing is it's starting to snowball starting to be something that we can talk about rather than being something that is shunned away and um, you know I have, a, I have a good friend he games a lot more than I do but if he was able to have the same you know startup from you know let's say from install of Windows to you're starting to game that same sort of process on Linux and there was really no difference that would be a huge step forward and that would make more just the gamer out there start to be like okay this is a transition I can make and I think if we can get it to that point and make it easier make it comfortable then that's going to be a way that people are going to be jumping on board and saying yeah this is something I want to do so that's just something to keep in mind and I, and I hope that Linux can go keep going down this road I know you know when I use Linux a lot I use it a lot from the terminal side of things which is not user friendly right people are more used to Windows where it's a graphical interface but they're clicking on stuff so that same translation has to come over on the Linux side and it has to be there accessible for all these users so time will tell time will see what uh, CMOS can do but since the recovery image is out there you can start messing with it even though they say it's not fully supported for anything but the Steam Deck but you can start going down that road and start testing it out now I don't have another machine to test it out um, at this point maybe I'll have to get another machine to be able to do that or I could dual boot we'll see um, how it goes but I really want to start going through and seeing how we can move in the right direction and and get another competing platform that competes against Windows on the gaming side rather than just console because I think that that would even spur a little bit more competition maybe keep Windows in their in what an OS really should be rather than trying to be more than what it is and I, I see Windows is trying to take you know full control of more the user rather than the user being able to use an OS right software in this Microsoft is trying to be the controlling part of the user experience rather than letting the user and letting the software fade away and letting the user be that controlling experience and while Linux is almost all full user control it can do everything it needs a little bit more um, areas where it can guide the user on where to go and make it simpler so the user understands what's actually going on so let me know what your thoughts about Steam OS, about what's coming down where do you think Linux and Linux OS is going to be do you think Linux and gaming are going to start taking off here in the next few years I think if the cards roll right this is something we could see more of but Microsoft can make some moves and really kind of keep it at bay if they wanted to so with that Thank you guys all for watching. Thank you for taking the time to help support Grave Alone and help this channel grow. Until next time, God bless and to like, share, and subscribe.